Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes as well as annemakes.blogspot.com and as you can see today I went to Michael's and I am sharing my haul with you because I bought mostly things that were on clearance and I did score good. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm happy uh, what I found with what I found. I did not go there with a specific goal in mind. Scratch. What I did find that was in clearance, and mind you, the clearance at uh, my Michaels is scattered all over the store. You have to basically go down every aisle to find things on clearance. So it's, it's not a grab and go type of situation. So on one end aisle, they had these uh, duct tape markers. They are basically paint markers and they are water-based. So I got, and they sell these regularly for $16.99 and there are three in here. They were in the clearance for $7.99, so that's $8 for three. So that's just a bit more than $2 a piece for these uh, markers, which I'm pretty sure are basically paint markers. And so I thought that was a, that was a decent price at $7.99. I would not pay $16.99. Um, I love duck brand don't get me wrong I love their duct tapes but I think Michaels has that a little bit high uh, in price so in here there is a gold a silver and a white this package has a red a blue and I think that's a black and in here we have a pink a green and a white and I'm glad to have two whites because uh, white paint markers are what I use the most in when I do uh, mixed media. So to me, this is a really good find. Uh, Michael, exclusively at Michael's Creative Inspiration Coloring Books were on sale for $3. And the only one that they had in that Creative Inspirations and Michael's exclusive was this, was the Japanese Designs Coloring Book. And it's a two in one. So uh, there are these Japanese designs that have basically these black borders on these pages. And the other side, let's flip over, is also Japanese designs, but they are on a white background. So uh, the paper is nice and thick. It should hold up to a lot of media. And it, is, it does have the perforations here so you can tear out the pages if you'd like to frame your artwork afterwards or if you feel more comfortable coloring in the separate page from, from the whole book. So this was $1.29. I thought that was excellent. It wasn't $3, it was $1.29. And see, the retail suggested price in Canada is $12.99. I couldn't refuse it because I, I do color a lot and I reuse the images and different things. But for $1.29, yeah, that's a score. <laughs> I saw this uh, bottle of Gorilla Glue. Not, not all the Gorilla Glue was in the clearance, only this one. This size was half price for some reason and I thought, well, I can't pass it up because this was, I believe I paid $4.99 for this. And that's, you know, that's not bad for Gorilla Glue. It's a little, uh, but you know, everything at Michael's is kind of more expensive. So I got this. I found this uh, tube of Heidi Swap Metallic Texture Paste in this nice shade of blue. Uh, regular $9.99, but it was a $3.49. It was, uh, like I said, it was a clearance item. And I do know that this is a, actually the, the color is teal. This is a good product. So I thought, oh, I, I would not want to pay $10. I think that's kind of high, but $3.49, yeah, that's, that's okay. That's good. All the uh, Recollections, Craftsmith, uh, Boho, uh, I'm trying to remember the other one, the Tropical Life things uh, are at 60% reduction so I got this little package of confetti and they they sell this for $8.49 in Canada what a ripoff because in the US get it's 4 dollars 
and with the 60% off, so yeah, well, 60% well, off of $8.49, really, that's, that's just too high for confetti, and um, this little bag has pineapples, and this one has flamingos, and watermelon slices, so actually, I think there were three, there were three things that I bought that were not on clearance, and I did use my 40% off coupon on, well, one of them. So I got this uh, Architectures Stash Pack. It is nine sheets of basically it's pieces of ephemera. There are stickers in here. There are pieces to cut out, and this is very vintage looking. The theme is mostly being creative, sewing, crafts, knitting, quilting, and making collage, and mixed media work. So this is $10, so it's, it's not cheap, and uh, yeah, but I really like this, so I got it. And the other one is also by Seven Gypsies, the Architectures. It is a sheet of rub-ons, and again, the theme is everything creative. And the rub-ons come off this like brown type of paper, but I lo I'm looking at everything here. I'm looking at the packaging, how I'm going to reuse this packaging in my mixed media work. And so yes, ten dollars seems a little excessive for a whole sheet. It's a big, it's a big, a very big sheet of rub-ons, but I'm paying for the name. I'm paying for the designs, basically. The this company. Um, line of uh, Seven Gypsies is a canvas core company and their line of architecture is just beautiful if you're into the vintage really vintage mixed media you this is just a gorgeous gorgeous line uh, but it it is not not cheap <laughs> I lucked out with this this uh, was a clearance item that I found it's a Tim Holtz ideology clock it's just the frame of the clock like this this is all you get you get a gutted clock um and this was in the clearance for six dollars 5.99 and regular in canada this is 17.99 so again very high priced in canada uh, we're not very fortunate for that but I said to myself, I am going to the thrift store afterwards. If I see any clocks, because I've been looking for some of these clocks to do this, if I see any real old clocks that I can gut myself, I will take this one back to Michael's. Because I saw this clock before I ever ended up, and I don't know how come it's in the clearance. I have no idea why yet. Um, and I thought, I can't, I can't justify paying that for this so I've been looking for clocks to gut uh, in thrift stores and I haven't found any that I that I liked so I said okay this is my last dish ditch effort I'm buying it at six dollars I'll go to the thrift store and if I find one at the thrift store I'm bringing this one back but as you can see I did not find a clock at the thrift store again so I came home with this one and I'm glad that I waited <laughs> for it to become more affordable to me. This is another item that was in uh, a clearance basket. It is 15 rolls, uh, one yard each of a fabric tape and the regular price for this is $25 and this was in the clearance for nine. Well, regular price is actually $24.99, clearance was $8.99. So I have 15 rolls in here, that means they're less than a dollar a piece. Another deal that I thought was really good were these floral clips. They have all the Ashlyn and summer decorating items at 60% off. And this was part of the 60% off. So they had these floral clips. I've seen similar things at the dollar store. But because it was 60% off $1.49, these only came out to $0.59 cents a piece. 
Plus, I had not seen this color when I was in the dollar stores, so, you know, double score for me. I got this color, and it's for uh, some sort of home decorating project that I want to do in my uh, summer studio. Another nice little find for me were these Pebeo replacement nozzles. They're for the to put on tubes of, there's a product that we use in mixed media. It's a, called a liner. Anyway, the it has these little nozzles and sometimes they get clogged or you lose the nozzle or whatever. So replacing those nozzles was a $6.99, but this package of six nozzles was $1.79. So I jumped on that. It's not something that I need to do, but when it happens, when I lose a nozzle, it's very frustrating. So I'll be happy to have these as a backup. This is a nice little find. These are children's uh, oil pastels. They are handmade Charlotte kids, uh, creativity for kids, 12 piece, Daydream Oil Pastels. Uh, it says they're premium quality, easy blending, regular. They were $5.99 for the 12 and the clearance for $2.29. And I thought, wow, that's pretty good. And I, I, I tested them in the store to see how creamy they were. And they're very creamy. So I thought this is a great little portable set for me when I want a portable set of oil pastels. I have four, it comes in the box. The box itself I would pay at least $1.25 at the dollar store for, and then I get these pastels which are better, which I find are better quality than a lot of oil pastels. So this was a nice score for me. They had jars of grout, ready mix grout, and just the powdered kind to make uh, your own grout for doing mosaic work. And I took one of the sandstone, because that's what they had. They had these small jars of sandstone, regular $9.99, on clearance for $3.99. And there's eight ounces in here, but this makes a lot of grout, so it's kind of like a sandy color beige type of thing and this one is a large jar it's a whole pound of black to make the uh, black grout to do some mosaic work and this one instead of $13.49 is $4.99 uh, for the one pound so uh, it's a lot of grout I would have liked to have found the white powder one but they didn't have any but I can pick up the white stuff at the hardware store so um this was just a bonus for me to find them uh i mentioned before that all the recollections boho and tropical line were uh, at 60 percent off so i got this little package of stencils uh it's a six piece pack of stencils see that one and then all these Cute. very boho well it's boho so here's that the hand with the the eye drawn on it that's kind of neat to have and I really like stencils and these are I like the size of these these are fun for uh, traveling with and these were well these were pretty expensive because oh regularly they are $14.99 ouch but they were in clearance for uh, $5.99. So basically I paid a dollar per little stencil. Again, in the Recollections line, uh, this one is the Mermaids, uh, I think it was Enchanting. Yes, so Enchanting, Boho, I can't, uh, Craft something, those are all 60% off. So I got this, the Mermaids. I do not have any Mermaid washi nor had I even considered looking for it. And seashells, and I just, oh, this is lovely. I really, really, really like these designs. I think that this is a pretty good deal because regularly this is $17.99. Oh my goodness. 
$17.99 is the regular price for this and so I paid 60% of that. So this was $7.19 for eight rolls. And there's quite a bit on each roll. So for me, I would pay more at the dollar store basically. And to, you know, I would pay more because the, the rolls would be probably smaller. So I did good on this one. I'm happy. But I, I didn't, I could have bought a whole bunch of different collections, but I didn't. I restrained myself to this one. That is something I did not have or thought I would find. I, that was the only one in this collection, but I did get the Craftsmith because these were 60% off as well. So these ones are with kitty cats. And this one is little mountains and little like um, scout labels or scout badge. Yeah, those look like scouts badges or girl guide badges. And so these were like $3.99 a piece instead of $8.49. And there's two rolls in each one. Uh, also in the 60% off clearance, I got the acrylic metallic paint. I love to use metallic paints. I love the points on these little bottles. They're they're small. They're sque they're squeeze bottle. They're nice. These are regular $24.99. Uh, and so these came down to $9.99 for the five. Um, still not a great, great price, but pretty good for uh, this kit actually. So uh, this was a good find for me. This is Artist Loft. Uh, fluid acrylics is just a little bottle of opaque white fluid acrylic fluid acrylic is the higher end of paint and it is regular $2.99 for this tiny little bottle it's one fluid ounce but they had some at 79 cents so white is a color that I always need in my work so I was happy to pick this up at 79 cents I thought I scored when I found these Pibio uh, little paints on clearance. This one is the Pibio Moon Pearl. Uh, this one, these paints uh, have like make great effects, especially when you pour them, and it just they're really they're really expensive paints. Regularly, this is fun. I also found this package of paper rope by recollections and on here there are 30 yards so it's like a golden color like old gold or brass colored uh, paper rope and regular it is $8.49 it was in the clearance for $2.99 another item that is in the 60% off right now in the recollections line uh, tropical life so regularly $14.99, um, I got this at 60% off. And this is the sheets of, I call them like, they're like stencils. And that's probably what I will do. I will probably keep like one of each uh, different motif and keep uh, as a stencil. And the other ones I'll, I might use in a crafting project or card or something like that or a scrapbook. So, just really, really pretty designs. <laughs> they're really pretty designs. So you can see that they're all cut out. Like this one here has parrots and flamingos. And this one is pineapples. They're just very tropical, as it says. Also, the hot buys of paper pads are $10, and there are 48 sheets in here, and I chose this one, which is the Mermaid Coast one, uh, Craftsmith, and I, it goes, I find it goes that very well with the uh, Recollections crafting tapes that I purchased, the Mermaid ones there, so, and in here you get some lovely foiled papers 
seahorses. Look, I, I love this one with the seashells. And these are nice things to cut out, beach. And... Yeah. And as I always say, I do not need more paper. Like a, I need more paper like a hole in the head. But yeah, well, I didn't have any mermaid paper. So that's how I justified buying this. A couple other clearance items. I thought this was a lot of fun. I never pay attention. I've never seen this before. I've never paid attention to it when it was not in the clearance. So uh, it is by Mambi, Me and My Big Ideas. They are paper sheets. There are 24 sheets in here that fold out. They are like uh, gift wrapping sheets, but us crafters can use this in all sorts of things. You can, it's not just for gift wrapping, it's for all sorts of paper crafts and de home decor and such. And each sheet measures 18 by 25 inches. It's just, right now they're just folded inside and there are some tear away things here. And this is what this pad contains. They had a lot of these to choose from at my Michaels. And it says here that it was $29.99, but it was in the clearance for $11.99. And back here, they show all sorts of project ideas of things that you can make with the paper. The other item I found in clearance was this Heidi Swap art screen. Now, it might be very hard for you guys to see this, um, but I I really like this one. So basically, it's an art screen or it's also a stencil. They're basically two of the same. But what I really liked about this one and why I bought it is because it has the constellations on here. Not all the constellations, but it has many of the constellations. Um... I don't even see the Big Dipper or the Little Dipper, but there's other other ones here. And you see, the regular price apparently is $12.99 for this one art screen. And the clearance price was $3.99. So not really cheap, but I thought this was really pretty. And here is one of the suggestions for using this screen and here's a bigger picture of it here so you see art screens are the intended use is with the paste that you get and the little squeegee thing but you can use this with regular paint you could use this with ink it doesn't really matter so uh, that's these art screens are good at stencils and stencils are good as art screens also finally the last item I purchased that was not on sale, but it is a really good price. Uh, it's a good everyday value price. It is one of these artists' tote bag. I've purchased uh, one like this several years ago in red, and now they're only. I didn't see them in different colors. I only. I have only seen these in black now, but that's okay. I'm just. Uh, in need of something to carry out around uh, a lot of coloring tools and these are I believe I paid seven dollars for this little bag it's by the artist it's the artist loft line by Michaels and that is all for my Michaels haul I want to thank you so much for watching if you like this video I would appreciate a thumbs up and uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't because I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So take care of yourself and I'll catch you after the next haul. Bye!